air pollution claims the lives of 5 million people each year. But what is this invisible killer and how do we put an end to it? Watch this video to find out. Air pollution refers to harmful particles in the air, which can affect both human health and the environment. Common pollutants include particulate matter, which are tiny particles suspended in the air, sulfur dioxide and carbon monoxide. Ozone and nitrogen oxide are other notable pollutants. But where do these substances even come from? Air pollution has three main sources transport, industry and waste. Let's delve into these one by one. Diesel and petrol cars are an obvious source of air pollution. Their internal combustion engines produce a lot of carbon monoxide, which reduces the blood's capacity to carry oxygen. Moreover, industrial manufacturing processes release large amounts of sulfur dioxide. SO2 causes acid rain when it is released into the atmosphere. This is dangerous because acid rain kills trees, acidifies lakes and damages buildings, thus leading to the loss of biodiversity worldwide and the extinction of endangered species. Landfills also contribute to air pollution. The breakdown of organic matter produces methane, a greenhouse gas, but it also releases volatile organic compounds or VOCs. Not only do VOCs lead to smog in the air, but they also harm human health in a number of ways. We've already talked about how air pollution can affect the environment, and now we're going to cover their effects on our health. Firstly, both particulate matter and nitrogen dioxide can irritate the respiratory system, increasing the risk of asthma and lung infection. Air pollution has also been linked to higher rates of cardiovascular problems, such as heart attacks and strokes. Coupled with the fact that some pollutants could even cause cancer, it's clear that air pollution is deadly, causing 400,000 premature deaths in the European Union alone. Now that we know how dangerous air pollution is, we need to take bold steps to solve this problem once and for all. We need to shift away from fossil fuels towards renewable energy sources and encourage electric vehicles whilst discouraging their petrol and diesel counterparts. This can be done by heavily subsidising these industries, implementing ultra-low emission zones in cities and building more electric charging points. Governments and corporations also have to improve industrial practices by establishing stricter air quality standards and enforcing them with large fines, we can incentivize manufacturing companies to use low emission fuels and technologies that capture pollutants before they enter the atmosphere. Cities also need to promote urban greening by creating more parks, building more green roofs and planting more trees. To learn more about this, click on the card appearing on your screen now. Making recycling more efficient by improving infrastructure and encouraging composting means that less waste enters landfills. This has a knock-on effect as this leads to reduced air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. But raising public awareness about air pollution through education is one of the best ways to solve it. And subscribing to Eco Hot Dog is just one way to learn about the environment. Because only by promoting individual sustainability can we truly change society for a better, brighter and greener future.